Welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time we saved the Great Bay region, so this time we're exploring the Swamp Spider House. Before we get started, I wanted to play the Song of Double Time, but it turns out you can't use it indoors. This'll make sense in a bit, but for now, let's look for the 30 gold sculptulas in this area. The first one should be somewhere in the water. You got a gold sculptula spirit, this is your first one. Another one should be in one of these jars over here. You got a gold sculptula spirit, this is your second one. Next up, we can use the bugs that we caught earlier to lure some out of the walls. You got a gold sculptula spirit, this is your third one. You got a gold sculptula spirit, this is your fourth one. You might hear a few more off in the distance, but we'll worry about them later. For now, let's actually head through this door over here. In here, we want to roll into certain crates to actually get uh, more Sculptulas. You got a gold Sculptula Spirit? This is your fifth one. You got a gold sculptula spirit. This is your sixth one. There is one crawling along the top of this room, uh, so let's use the hookshot to reach this one. You got a gold sculptula spirit. This is your seventh one. This is still possible without the hookshot as a heads up, but it is obviously a lot more difficult. If I'm not mistaken, you might be able to find a magic bean spot somewhere in this room, and then use that, uh, the leaf uh, created by the magic bean, uh, to reach higher up parts of this area. If I'm not mistaken, that's how you're supposed to get that if you don't have the hookshot. But with the hookshot, this area is actually kind of a breeze. There's another one over here. You got a gold sculptula spirit, this is your eighth one. And there should be one more by the exit. You got a gold sculptula spirit, this is your ninth one. There should be several more along the upper part of the central chamber. You got a gold sculptula spirit, this is your tenth one. You got a gold sculptula spirit, this is your 11th one. You got a gold sculptula spirit, this is your 12th one. Next up, we have to use the Deku mask and this Deku flower uh, to make it to the other side of this room, and also we should equip our final bottle here. A lot of times, the Sculptulas will actually move to positions where you can actually reach them with the sword, uh, but again, the hookshot makes things a lot simpler.
We got Gold Sculptula Spirit. This is your 13th one. Here, we want to re-equip the hook shot and then basically knock down some bees hives over here. A couple of them should have uh, sculptulas. The others will have bees, so be aware of that. Um, there are a couple more in this area as well, along with a sleeping Deku scrub. What's with that Deku scrub? It's just sleeping here like a lazy fool. What a pain. Over here, we can cut through to find a secret alcove with another Sculptula. We got Gold Sculptula Spirit, this is your 14th one. There are also Sculptulas in these large jars, uh, so let's roll into them. We got Gold Sculptula Spirit, this is your 15th one. And there's one more on the in the jar that's second from the right. You got gold sculptula spirit. This is your nineteenth one. There's one more in this room, so let's hop up to the upper ledge and take care of this one. Again, you can use the hook shot, or you can wait till it uh, crawls back down. You got a gold sculptula spirit. This is your twentieth one. That switch activates a ladder, uh, so we can easily reach the upper part of this room uh, without having to basically go all the way all the way around every time. However, you can hookshot the crates, so if you have the hookshot, you can actually uh, trivialize this area as well. Um, there's another sculptula in one of those hives, along with one, I think, on this pillar. You got Gold Sculptula Spirit, this is your 21st one. You got Gold Sculptula Spirit, this is your 22nd one. You got Gold Sculptula Spirit, this is your 23rd one. And the final one in this room is above here. Once again, uh, you can use a magic bean right over here uh, if you don't have the hook shot, but luckily we do, so we don't have to worry about that. You got a gold sculptula spirit. This is your 24th one. Next up, we have a slightly tricky jump to make. I wonder if the magic leaf from the bean would actually make it easier, like if it would pass in front of the entrance so we wouldn't have to do this. Uh, but without a magic bean, uh, we have to basically carefully roll jump um, into this alcove here. Um, it might take a few tries because this is kind of an odd angle, and again, I'm not sure if you're intended to do it this way. Um, you're probably intended to use a magic bean, uh, but it still works. Uh, second try isn't too bad. But over here, we have our final section of the Swamp Spider House, where we have a couple more Sculptulas to find. Uh, some are hiding in the grass. You got a gold Sculptula Spirit, this is your 25th one. You got a gold sculptula spirit. This is your 26th one. There should be one more hive over here. You 
and got a gold sculpture spirit. This is your 27th one. The rest of the Sculptulas are hiding in this tree, uh, so we have to uh, roll into it. You got a gold Sculptula Spear, this is your 28th one. You got a gold Sculptula Spear, this is your 29th one. You collected all of the gold Sculptula Spirits. The curse is now lifted. Alright, so that takes care of this area. All that's left is to return to the entrance and see if the person is uh, no longer cursed. Oh, I've been saved! I thought that I was going to die. You see, a while back, someone told me I could become rich, and he gave me this mask. He said the instructions were inscribed somewhere in here, but when I went to look, I was cursed. If I had known it would be such an ordeal, I never would have taken it. Here, take it. It's yours. You got the Mask of Truth. This is the same mask the Sheikah spoke of. This mask allows you to hear and understand the wisdom of gossip stones and the thoughts of animals. I've had enough of this. As soon as I get it together, I'm going home. Luckily, there's actually a dog right over here, so let's test out our new mask. Uh, rough. I've had it with this foolish master. What's a racing dog like me doing in a place like this? Oh, how I miss the ranch. There's also a gossip stone near the end of this area, so let's actually head over there and test out the mask on a gossip stone, since we have a little bit of time uh, before our next event anyway. I think it was in the next room by the tree, uh, so let's climb up here and see what it has to tell us. Uh, we have to make this jump again, unfortunately, uh, so let's try this again. Let's see if we can get a first try this time. There we go, not too bad. The mystical stone responds to the mask and speaks to you. But its words are heard in secret. The mask that can see into people's hearts and minds also seems to work on animals as well. By interacting with gossip stones and uh, using the mask of truth, uh, you can basically get hints about various masks. Overall, um, it's mostly used to get one heart piece, so we won't be using the Mask of Truth for its intended purpose, uh, because this, again, is a free heart run, uh, which is part of the reason why I put it off this long anyway. We could have gotten this way sooner, but again, one is easier with the hook shot, and two, there's not really a point to getting this in a rush, because the only main reward is a heart piece. Next up, let's actually head back to town. We still have a little bit of time to kill before uh, one more event, so first of all, let's actually equip the Romani's Mask for later. Um, 
and let's actually, um... Let's actually head to the west side of town. What's this? You need something? Excuse me, but let me take a look at you. Ah uh, yes, Link. If I remember, you're the little guy who deposited 215 rupees. Well, are you gonna make a deposit? Alright. So... Really? Are you really depositing 200 rupees? What? You're really gonna give me that much? You're one rich little guy. Alright little guy, now I've got a total of 415 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. I realized we'll need about 500 rupees for something later on, probably within the next cycle, so I figured we might as well drop off all the rupees since we maxed out our wallet anyway. So next up it's almost 10, so let's head to the east side of town. With the Romani's mask, we can actually enter the milk bar over here. Ah, you are a member. Please, come in. We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just want to see what it would have been like. Hey you! Could you help me with a performance? Okay, you play the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center spotlight. Okay, play your ocarina like this. Okay, that feels good. What feels good? That wretched, senseless racket? Gorman, leader of the traveling troop, was added to your notebook. Toto, the band manager, was added to your notebook. So, to help out with the sound check, we actually have to play a variety of instruments. So let's equip the, uh, let's equip a couple more masks, the, well actually, we only have room for one more. Could you help me with a performance? Okay, you play the pipes, right? Go stand under the front left spotlight. Okay, now play your pipes like this.
Okay, that feels good. What feels good? That wretched, senseless racket? Could you help me with a performance? Okay, you play the drums, right? Go stand under the rear left spotlight. Okay, play your drums like this. Okay, that feels good. What feels good? That's that wretched, senseless racket? And we have one more instrument to go. Could you help me with a performance? Okay, you play guitar, right? Stand beneath the spotlight on the right. Okay, play your guitar like this. Bravo! That was the best! That... that melody... That melody, it brings back so many memories. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. That's the song that members of the previous generation of the Indiegogos made famous. I entered show business because I heard this song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer, who's also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please, take my mask. You got the circus leader's mask. This mask looks so sad, it could put a tear in even a demon's eye. You saw the tears of circus leader Gorman. This was added to your notebook. Sir, it's the rules. Please wear your Romani's mask inside the bar. Alright, let's re-equip the Romani's mask really quickly. Welcome! There's a road to the south of town called Milk Road. Someone must have pulled a prank out there because the road is blocked by a huge boulder. I can't get any milk in from the ranch, so I'm not sure if I should recommend the, the Chateau Romani to you. Oh, 
All right, so we got the, the Circus Leader's Mask, uh, which is actually kind of useless in this version, uh, but is much better in the 3DS version. I mean, for one thing, the mask is very iconic uh, because it actually cries as you run. Um, but the main purpose of the mask in this version is it keeps the Gorman Brothers from attacking you during the Kremia wagon um, like uh, scene in uh, the Romani ranch quest. So considering you need to get through that quest to unlock access to the bar using the Romani's mask, it's kind of weird that they give you this mask afterwards because it makes the quest easier, but you can't use this mask for the quest unless you have Romani's mask already. Um, if you if you want to replay the quest, for example, to help the milk shipment to the bar, uh, now you have a much easier uh, way of getting through that quest because they won't attack you because you have the circus leader's mask. In the 3DS version, an additional side quest was actually added um, using the mask to basically help out the Gorman leader, um, which act actually rewards an additional bottle, so a bottle exclusive to the 3DS version, which again might be helpful uh, if you're trying to um, easily get through the Zora Egg side quest, or not side quest, it's actually required. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting actually having an exclusive quest to give this mask a little bit more importance. I actually like that change, to be honest. The quest itself is kind of, I don't remember too much about it, um, but it is kind of neat having an additional um, quest tied to a mask that generally didn't do a whole lot in the original. But with that being said, uh, we're actually pretty much at the end of the cycle. Let's actually do a little bit of inventory management for next time uh, really quickly and then head outside. The quickest way to the canyon is through the East Gate. Before we actually resume the main story, we actually have quite a few side quests we can take care of, so we'll tackle some of those before making our way back to Ikana. So thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask.